Follow all Moser's news on his website, www.mosiers.com. And on his Facebook Moser's and Instagram Moser's 13 page 2. For daily exclusive publications. Hello and welcome for this new basic montage um, video. And today let's see the second part about the live set. We are going to see how to edit live set what we can do and the job function too and do not miss the bonus suit all along the video because there will be three important and interesting things i will show you in the bonus if you do not know me my name is joel borg i work in partnership with yamaha music europe and music france and if you want to shoot me every day you can do it on the facebook it's called moisture instagram moisture 13 the website has a reference, www.moisio.com. And if you are not already a Moisio YouTube follower, please click on subscribe and click on the bell to be informed when I release a new video. So let's go in and talk about the edit and how to edit the things. Just sit my finger here and click simply on the green slot to go in the edit mode. So what we can do, we can do a lot of things. We can select different live sets and do some things. So you do not need to exit and come back on the edit mode. You can do it for several live sets. As I show you for the volume management on my first video, do not forget to shoot my first video for this. But you can also rename the user bank name if you need and rename each page if you need. As an example, the bank for the, your bond and the page for the the, the things you need to know when you work with the live set. If I take a live set slot, you have the slot type. I will not go deeper on that because we are on basic. So of course you can assign a live set to a performance, like a shortcut, but you can also associate a song, a pattern, or an audio file. For the audio file, it must be on a USB stick, on 16 bit 44.1 kilohertz the cd file format simply always hide and good quality in stereo please 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 and that's what you can do with this and after select your song associate etc etc and what we can do with the slot name here you can put an information as an example wait for the singer to do that it's a short phrase in i will Right information just to let show you and down and you have this little information here on the bottom part of the live set if you need i will go here because with this encoder you can select the slot type but for the color you can use that and you have a lot of colors here or you can use the encoder and you can set the color for separate the top and the bottom part here the purple is very nice and great as an example for the volume, I'll explain to you that you can have with the live set, the live set call the performance and ask the performance to use the volume you want to have. Shoot my first video about this. And we have one other thing here. Here, the live set is associated to that performance and you can change, but I will go on the bonus for this for you to explain in a better way what you can do with that. And here we have one of the green slot. It's called job what we can do on job we can copy live set remember it's only a shortcut you do not copy the performance you do not copy the song associated to the performance you just copy the live set slot okay so i can copy and i choose the destination slot easy way like that i can exchange if i want to exchange carlos with paris latino i just press exchange and up, ta -da, it switch, but we do not have an insert function. If I want to delete one slot, I select the slot and I press delete. So very, very easy to do that. And when you finish, you press down. That's enough for this part. But if you want to discover and take in and quicker your montage M or your montage Modex, Modex Plus, 
also for the stage keyboard, YC and the CK only V2. Audio modeling Camelot Pro or John Miller software are using Cubase with these great scenes. And stage keyboard, you can ask me for a moisture masterclass. It's online through Zoom. We are one to one. You choose the topic. We are going to work together. After you have your video, you can download and review as any, many time you need. And it's open all over the world through the Music Hackspace platform. Thank you, Music Hackspace, for that. And no, that's the bonus time. So for this bonus, I can start my montage and decide to start with a dedicated life. This one we have done with Carlos on one music, Hackspace Station. Hi, Carlos. And I want to start with this one. Or oh, I can do that. That's very easy. You press Utility. And you go to settings, like we are here on the brown color, and to system. So here you can set to start with a performance at your choice. From preset library user as you need, or for the live set, you can select the bank, you can select the page, you can select the slot. And if you want to go quickly, choose your slot before and press set current slot. And it's done. I will do not do it because I will lose the screen capture. But if I do it, next time I will restart, I will be on Carlos. Live set slot. Very easy for this first bonus. Okay, for the second bonus, I will go on edit. And perhaps on one song, you need to have several volumes. Move for the introduction in the middle level for the verse and the chorus, and on the bridge you need to go and cut through the mix. Of course, you can use FC7 pedal with the expression, but it's not always full precise when you need to manage free level. You can use the scene memory, of course, you do that. It's very great to use the scene memory, but if your two hands are very buzzy, you can assign a foot switch. Remember my video about the foot switch. You can assign a foot switch to have the live set plus. And you can manage the volume for several live sets. So simply, 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 I take this one, I go to job, I do copy. As an example, I do three times. And like we can manage the volume for the free, here I can set to start at the level very smooth like that, and for the chorus I can be like that, and for the bridge I can cut through the mix like this. You can use the encoder, so remember to do that. I press down, and now I start smoothly for the introduction. It does not change, it does not change, very great. And now it's in the middle position, do not change, you see. And now I cut through the mix. So simple and nice trick to do that and how to assign the fc7 if you do not remember go to utility settings and go to midi io and just assign to the full suite the live set plus very easy to done too and the third thing i want to show you is that I tell to you we do not have an insert function but we have something that can do the trick but actually it can be a little bit more long but if you play with a band, you change the song order. And on the job we have seen, we can copy, we can change, there is no insert. And oh, I can do that. Let's come back to this screen. And here I will use the Carlos. Sorry, Carlos. I will use the Carlos live chat to show you. Here with the performance, you can assign one of the performance to the live set. Here is the Carlos. But if I want to have the Maniac here, I said Maniac, no. And if I want to use uh, one of the uh, compliance, I can use the compliance node. So I can reordering all the things and say, well, yes, but generally when you work, you want to manage a little bit the things, the reverb, you do the user. So remember with bank favorite, you can make filter. And if it's a preset and you have set to favorite, you can filter by favorite. I do not have one because I work only with users for my part. This is my way to work. And you can do things like that. Our money for nothing. From that song here as an example, very easy to reorder. It can take a little bit more time, but it's a way to done the job. Also, 
That's video ending. I hope you have liked it. I hope you have find it interesting. If yes, please click on the blue thumb. I remember to you, it's very important for me because it's a huge work to do all these videos and it's done out my office day work, which is not music. So if you like, please press like. If you want to support the channel, you have bottom right the video, the arrow come. You have the super thanks. Super thanks are like a kind of donation. It starts from $2 to what you want. And when you have done a video very interesting and say, oh, okay, I want to ask a masterclass, but I do not need it. Well, I provide all the information, but I want to thank him. You can use the super thanks. It's helped me to renew the licenses for all the software I use to produce this video and the things on the social media or to buy new gear or to buy new software. Thank you in advance. If you go on that way, if you want a Moise Masterclass, I remember to you all information are on video description and on the video ending that come. And it's open all over the world through the music art space platform. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon for one of our montage basic video. Bye. Would you like to discover, learn, or improve your knowledge of your Yamaha synthesizer or stage keyboard? Book your Moser's master class now. Your private session is conducted online through Zoom. Take all benefit of Moser's expertise, Yamaha synthesizers and stage keyboard specialist and consultant for Yamaha Music Europe and France. As member of international Yamaha Tech Talk live team, music hackspace instructor and host of the Camelot Pro Sessions, Joel take care of your experience level. Whether you're a beginner or a skilled user, get the most out of your Yamaha synthesizer, stage keyboard, John Mela software suite or Camelot Pro. Book your session for your personal Moesers one-to-one session. It's available for users all over the world through Music Hackspace platform. It's easy. Select your date and time from the Moesers calendar available slots on your time zone. Thank you for watching this Moesers video. Do not forget to click on like, subscribe and click on the bell to be informed when a new video is online. Do not hesitate to write a comment or ask a question. See you soon, bye!